Welcome to WP Mat. Here in this video, we are going to be learning about Amen's Gate O Category List widget. But before that, let me show you what we are exactly going to learn. From Elements Gate landing page, you have to go Elements Demo. After that, you will find four WooCommerce related widgets. The third one is O Category List. Click there. After that, it will take you to the landing page. If you scroll down, you will find the demo. There you will find category style 1 and in this style you will also be able to see some of the categories like the men's cloth, ladies cloth and ladies bags. You can use any categories you want. You can show the category name and how many products you have into that category. For example, in men's cloth you have only one product, in ladies cloth we have only two products and in ladies bags we have only one product. Now let's see another style. In this style you have all categories which is a feature category and on the right side you have the other categories now let's see another style in this style the information is placed at the bottom and likewise the first one you can show the category name and the product you have at this point of the video it's time to see how to use this category style in order to do this open any page with elementor page builder after that you'll find elements git icon Click on the icon, then go to widget presets and from the left side you need to find the O category. Click on O category list and there you will find the three category demo. You can open any of them you want. For example the middle one. Click here and there you will have the insert button. If you click on the insert button this demo will automatically insert it into your website. Now click here. After that, the demo is installed into my website. Let's see how we can modify this one. Click on this little icon and from the left side you will find all the settings to modify this one. You can modify the layout, categories, ordering and you can filter also. But let me show you how we can do this from the scratch. I'm removing this one from the widget panel, search U category and there you will have O category list by elements kit drag and drop on your page and there you will find the categories now in this demo you cannot see any image for the category because I didn't use it for your case if you want to use thumbnail you need to go to your dashboard then products then categories after that open any category and click edit and there you'll find the option of using the thumbnail now click on update choose any image use image and update it now if you refresh it here there you'll find the thumbnail so this is how you can add a thumbnail but let me show you the settings for the category Click on this little icon and the right side you'll find the settings. The first setting we'll look at is filter by which is manual right now. From here if you select all on that time all the categories will show. If you select manual on that time you can select any individual categories you want. For example I don't want to show the uncategorized option. Right now I don't see it. And you'll also be able to see by the parent and the next one is order by you can show the category by the name slack description and count I want to show by count on that time you can see I have five products five products then four products and then you have the ordering you can show in descending ordering or ascending ordering let me show you in ascending ordering now you have four 5 and 5 then open the layout here you have label position you can show the label inside of thumbnail and outside of thumbnail then you have enable feature category now if you open it there you have the feature category I need mode category to make a beautiful look again I'm going to the filter and showing manual selection now again go back to the layout and from feature category you can show a feature image 
click on the image and choose any image you want. Then you have the item gap. I don't want to keep any gap. Then you have the column. I want to show two columns. After that, the category count. There you can see four. That means only four categories will show. What if I make it five? There you can see the fifth category. You can also hide the title and product count. I don't want to show any product count, only the title. Now if you go to the style, on that time you'll have the access to work with the typographic color and the position. From the item tab, you can work with the background color and the background color on hover. Then you have the padding, border type and border radius. After that if you go to the image, you can work with the width height of the image. Then you have again border and border radius. If you go to the label, there you have the label height, margin, padding and the position. You can show from the left side, right side or from the middle. And you can also control the position of the vertical alignment. If you select top, on that time it will start from the top or if you select bottom, it will go all the way down. Then you have category title. And from typography setting, you can work with the font size and font family. You'll also be able to work with width, transform and style. I want to show the category in lower case. After that, you have the product count. Here you have the typography setting, color setting in normal and color setting in hover. Now if you go to the feature category, there you have the width, label, margin, padding. You'll also be able to work with the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment. In the vertical alignment, I want to show the product information from the top. Then you have the category title and from typography, I want to make the font size bigger. So this is how you'll be able to work with every sort of settings of this category widget. If you want to know more about Elements Kit U Products widget, please check the description. Thank you for watching this video.